Yeah, 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 it's your homeboy, Young Buck. I'ma just let you know, man, anytime time I come to the 805, I have a good time. It's been hood. I gotta get back out on the road, letting the world know fuck the world. March 27, my album out. Y'all make sure y'all go get that. 805, I know everybody out here gonna buy my album, man. Clubhouse Morning Show, it's always been good. West Side out this motherfucker. All right. Yeah. Yo, it's Q1047 to 805, hip hop and RB. Yes, yes, Clubhouse Morning Show. Your man, Big Bear. And uh, Nancy Rodriguez, buenos dias. And of course, DJ Myron in the studio. Yes, and we are hanging out, and we got a special guest in the studio who gets crazy love, man. <laughs> we all, yes. Crazy love, man. So 805, I want everybody to do me a favor. Yes, sir. And show your love for my dude Young Buck up in the club I saw the show. Hey. Hey. Young they got Buck. Up early in the morning. What's up with it, man? Nah, it's all love, bro. It feel good. I'm good, bro. My album, March 27, Buck the World. That's what's okay, up, man. Welcome good. back to the 805. Yeah, it feel Appreciate good to be here. I feel the love already. There bro. it is. There it is. <laughs> so now we got some, the 805 is representing in here this morning. So now everybody always asks, how can we get in there, hang out with Young Buck and everybody else who comes to Q1047? Log on Q1047.com, become a VIP member, join our text club. That's where we pick people from. Straight like that. It's that. Sound easy. Oh, you it can really watch is. The show on YouTube. Oh yeah, yo. Yeah. Buck has we got a Q1047 YouTube channel too. And Buck's segment, when he was here last time with Fred Rock, has the most hits out of anything. So if you hit my segment up, if you hit Young Buck and punch my name in on YouTube, definitely go see Q1047 pop up. That's how it goes. It. See? That's what we do. It's called marketing. You know what it I mean? It's Mark. called that promote. <laughs> cross promote. That's how we do it. Called airway pimping. <laughs> you gotta use it. Gotta use it. So now March 27, Buck the World, what's up with it, Buck? Yeah, it's crazy, man. I put together another classic. You know, if you was a fan of Straight Outta Cashville, you definitely gonna be a fan of this album. Right. A lot of features. Dr. Dre's on this album for uh -huh. his production. He okay. showed up a couple times. And, you know, it's just a star-studded record from the top to bottom. I base my music off of reality. You gonna get that same street feel that you always get from Young Buck. But at the end of the day, you know, as a man, you only get older. Right. So hey, I'm more. I'm, I think it's more of a, a mature reality street record, That's what's more up. or less than when I came for us. My first record, it was brand new. I was fresh. So you're getting that same thing, but it's more more set in with me where I'm at with it. So now we got some 805. Who got questions for Buck? Say yeah. your name. Say we from. Say uh, I'm James, and I'm from Camarillo. All right. All right. Uh, my question is, who was your favorite artist or group growing up, and your favorite track? Oh man, oh, man. My favorite artist was uh. It still is to this day, it's Tupac. And I'm blessed to be able to have the Outlaws a part of my label, which is Cashville Records right now. Oh, and wow. uh, yeah, I definitely I just know. signed okay. them. As well as Sebo from the West Coast. Word. So yeah, I got a lot in the making. Okay. But yeah, it's Tupac. My favorite group, with all honesty, would be the Outlaws, you know, because I, I feel like, you know, when we sit here and we say, uh, Tupac gone, and we all know he's gone, but he's still here when you see them. Right. And then he left, you know, whatever, through them. So I, I caught the Tupac and Big L. You right. know what I mean? So, you know, and my favorite record would be when my homies called. I heard you know that. Because you're nothing without your homeboys. I couldn't do it by myself. Holler when you see me in your neighborhood. Young Buck. Hey, good looking out, James. Yeah. That's what's up. Give it up for Young Buck, y'all. All right. Who else got questions? Who else More got a questions? question? Come up, say your name, say where you from. What's up, 805? This is B from Ventura. You act like you done did this before. Yeah, she really does. Yeah, you. Go ahead, bro. Yes. Anyways, um, I want to know when the next G Unit album is coming out. The whole G Unit family. The whole G Unit family. Yeah. Cool. Well, the uh, originals. You, the original. Banks, 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, right after my album, you're going to get a 50 Cent album. Okay. He's in the studio right now, gearing up. Okay. And uh, right after that, G Unit. The okay, G -Unit so album. when's the general coming to the 805? When is who? The general, Mr. 50. Mr. 50 Cent? Yeah. I thought you was talking about me when you said you're the general. <laughs> I'm the general. I'm here, baby. Okay. You know? I know you're here, but when's he coming? Uh, 50, I'm sure he'll be out here, you know, 
sometime soon. I don't want to say a date and then everybody be like, uh, Bucks Bucks in. Uh, <laughs> Bucks nah, in. Well, I can I can guarantee you he's gonna be here though. I'll give you that much and tell you that he's coming to the 805. You have no choice. You can't come to California without stopping through the 805, right?